Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome finally to another live stream. It's uh, it's been a minute. <laughs> I haven't streamed in like a week and a half because uh, my internet is still completely acting up, and as of like a moment ago, it was it was in the toilet. It seems to be okay for now. So I thought I'd try to fire it up and see if we can get a stream in. I may not get a full night stream in tonight, but we'll see what happens. Uh, welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I really appreciate all the support. And special thanks to our top tier Mistakes Are Made members for choosing that top tier membership option. Uh, I am alive, sort of. Like I said, my internet is still not, it's still not working right. So sometimes it's okay and other times it's not. I posted a, a picture of a speed test I did just before I went live here in the uh, Discord where I was only getting like a little over one megabit per second. Uh, which is not enough to stream, so hopefully it'll hold out for a little while tonight, and we'll see what happens. Uh, my, my cable company is supposed to be coming out to replace my line to the house. With any luck, that'll help fix the problem, because I can't seem to find anything else that's wrong. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Morning, everyone! Hey, Still Snow, how are you? Happy Tuesday, I guess it is there. <laughs> Almost live. I mean, we're, t we're live right now. <laughs> we'll see how long it stays that way, but we're live at the moment. Still Snow with the 65-month member message. I hope your internet gets fixed quickly. Me too, Still Snow. Me too. It's been, uh, it's been a real drain on my brain. I was going to try and do more, like, uploaded stuff while I couldn't stream, but uh, I've been having a really hard time getting, like, a quiet house and stuff in order to do recording. So it hasn't really worked super well. I do have something I already recorded that I'm editing. I was editing today, but I ran out of time. Welcome to Nightingale! Let's see if we can actually survive this. So, uh, we've already uh, popped out to a couple of worlds in uh, in our little Nightingale game here, but um, the next place we need to go is to a Provisioner Realm, I think it's called. Yeah, find the Lawman. Travel to a forest Provisioner Realm. So that's where we're probably going to be headed today. For a half a second, I thought Henry here was another player. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, how's somebody in my game? Completely forgot I had my dress wearing. Dude. Can you build the ISP for lost revenue? No, I can't. Um, they, uh, the, the contract you sign doesn't give any guarantees around the consistency of the service, just that they're going to provide it. Uh, and since I'm using it for personal, like a, at home, it's not for a business account. It kind of makes things a little different. They are knocking $30 off my monthly bill for the next two years. Which, you know, it's not nothing. It adds up. Um, so there's that, at least. Even if it's even if it's not stellar, it's something. I kind of wish he made a little barking noise when you do that. Or if you, like, actually pet him instead of squatting at him. But, anyway. Uh, if you have a 1,200 kilometer long Ethernet cable, yeah, <laughs> we'll just we'll run it around the world. I'm sure there'll be no signal degradation there. Absolutely none at all. Um, so I don't think I actually have the cards made already. Oh, I've got too many cards now. I need a provision. Oh, I do have the provisioner card made. Okay, so I've got that one, and then I think I'm gonna go to. I think they said provisioner forest realm. So I do have the cards already. Sweet. Where's my inventory? Uh, I'm gonna need to bring more marbles with me because uh, I don't want to lose my marbles. That'd be awful. Where's my enchanter's focus? I need to. Uh, I guess over here the workbench. Man, I haven't played this in like two weeks now, and my brain's like, my brain's not working anymore. Uh, I think it's crude rocks we're making money. I need to get some better ammo, but yeah, this is what it is. Auto fill. Anyway, we'll bring like a hundred rounds. Uh, the problem being that the, the the ammo actually has weight to it. No, not that bad actually. 0.1 kilogram each, so this is 0.6 kilograms. So I guess it's not that bad. Uh, I do need to prep some food. I have uh, a little bit on my hot bar down here. We've got uh, mixed plants, mushrooms. We've got some roasted meat from the tier one Everheart beer. And then tier one prey. So let's whip up some food. We can't go over there with no food because like the lack of healing would be bad. I feel like. I gotta get some more recipes I can cook too. 
our, uh, our job today is going to be to try to find the essence trader because I want to try to get more recipes for things. Um, you pretty much unlock everything in this game by trading with the essence trader. I have no fuel in here. <laughs> That's not going to cook very well. <laughs> Who needs healing? Well, I do have 34 healing potions down here, so it's not that I can... I'm not completely without healing, but... Uh, I should probably have you know, food for stat buffs or whatever. Alright, roasted meat. Crap. Beauty. He can set up his computer to split streaming between the cable and cell phone would be nice. Well, my cell phone is... Uh, I tried a uh, speed check on that. It's awful. <laughs> there's, there's no way you can stream through my cell phone connection. I just want them to fix it. I mean, when it's working, it's great. The problem is, if it's really inconsistent, even if I knew, like, every day at X time it was going to be down, I could at least work around it, but because it's so random, working around it is not really possible. Uh, let's repair some of these things. Eat, eat, eat. Well, I'm gonna eat, but I'm, I don't really need it. I don't need the buffs at the moment. I'm just, uh... Okay, cooking up some food and stuff. Okay, so I've got, uh, this, so let's, uh... We'll consume this. I'm gonna put these in the hot bar. Huh. A little of this, a little of that. Oh, I should actually make some more, maybe, cooked mushrooms. I've got lots of shrooms. I want to make tack at some point, too, but I need refined flour, and I haven't even found the grains yet to, to make the flour. What back quarter of Ontario do you live in, right? Man, you would think that in this day and age, high-speed internet service would just be a given, as long as you're not, like, living in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Clearly that's not the case, though. So these shrooms get... Well, actually, uh, let's see the comparison of these things. 25 max health. Oh, those other shrooms, the shiitake mushrooms there, they give a slightly higher hunger mitigation. So I'm going to combine the two of those together. Whip those up. Got some shrooms. I think we spoke too soon. Mine's working fine, Ricky. Shouldn't be, uh... It's not me, at the very least. Could be a YouTube thing, but it's not a me thing. Okay, let's fire up this uh, this other portal so we can get moving here relatively quickly. Oh, it's hailing. Maybe I should not do this in the hail. Stand under here. Henry, get out of the hail, buddy. Just because you have a hat on doesn't mean you're impervious to hail, man. How close to the border get internet from the U.S.? It's too far away for that. <laughs> Not that close. It's been a rough few weeks, let me tell you. Not uh, not thrilled with my whole internet service provider right now. I've had Texo three times already. I've got a knife. Have you got a knife? No, you don't, Henry. Oh, dude, let's get some of this up here. Don't leave, that, leave the rocks behind. We don't need to bring rocks with us. What's wrong with you, Henry? He's got like a huge rock at him. He's a big rock. Forgot that I had stone and uh, wood over here, so I kind of accidentally multi sorted them. There we go. Hey, Void. I just trying to pass border control just to plug in an Ethan. Yeah, uh, listen, just ignore this cable dragging behind my car. I swear it's fine. Oh, it's not open. That was open. Henry, no! Oh. <laughs> I thought Henry stepped in the other portal and was leaving. 
All right. We'll see what the Provisioner Realm has in store for us. Actually, uh, I kind of forgot to do it, but I, I should make a point of like setting these things for harder difficulty when I'm going through the portal. My home realm, I can't do anything about because I I started the game on like normal difficulty. But I guess each time we travel to a new world, I can choose a different difficulty when I go there. And then hope to be prepared with more equipment, I guess. Go crazy with spotty internet for you, no idea. But yeah, so on the plus side, the download works fine. So I can watch whatever I want to watch. Play games, all that kind of crap. Um, the problem is streaming. Streaming just takes a lot of bandwidth. Uh, I use uh, I use 10 megabits per second upload for streaming. Hey, Mr. Winnis, don't mind if I do. Uh, I use 10 megabits per second upload. Um, so if it dips below that, that's when you get the the impact on stream. But I can watch whatever I want to. So it's kind of like having uh, some of one thing and not enough of another, I guess. Ed Bob with the 27 month member message. Yay, mistakes. Thank you for the 27 months of mistaken membership. <laughs> I thought of blueberries. Okay, I haven't been to this realm before, so I guess we'll have to, uh, we'll have to explore a little bit. Ooh. This place has roads. There's also a Fey Tower here. I should probably hit up the Fey Tower first, and then if we knock that out, it'll open up more stuff on the map so we'll know where things are. Guess we'll take we'll take the road to the left. And your Carnute knocking trees down over there. I'm back! I'm sorta of back. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so far it's been fine, but. I don't want to jinx it. This has only been like 15 minutes, or not even. I'm stocking up on these berries, because I can probably use them in a recipe. Raw blueberries. Guess we're going up the hill. <laughs> hey, Shamalaba Ding Dong. How you doing? Ooh, what do we got up here? Is it something we can kill? I feel like they did a really good job environmentally on this game. It's like my favorite aspect of this game, I think. Everything just looks so cool. Oh. Oh, that must be the, uh... I think it's that guy, the special critter. Maybe. He sure ran away, though. Hey, Ron, how you doing? Happy Tuesday. Wait, today is Tuesday, right? Or was it Monday? Is today Monday? It's Monday. <laughs> Got confused because I said Happy Tuesday to still snow. Okay, that there has got to be the special, special Mick Critter. Uh, if we can get a heart shot on it, that'd be sweet. I gotta get closer. It's a bear, too, so I don't know if it's gonna, like, just charge me or something, or... Noisy. That was not a hard shot, just for the record. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Reload! Reload! Headshot. Like fighting bears and Icarus. <laughs> Just run past it, it's fine. Alright, so we killed the special dude. At least I think it is. Find out in a second, I guess. No, the internet is not all fixed, unfortunately. Uh, I almost didn't stream tonight, because right when I was getting ready to go live. Oh, it wasn't the special dude. That's just a bear that's in the world. 
That's fun. Uh, just I was getting ready to go live tonight, uh, my internet crapped out, and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to go live at all. Fortunately, it bounced back, and we'll see how it holds up. It's just been my ongoing ordeal. I'm going to complain about it infinitely. <laughs> Dustin Sparks with the 26-month member message. He lives! So far. This is the entrance to an underground cave thing. We're going to want to go in there, but probably not right now. Look at the Fate Tower first. If I go in there, I'm going to become a loot monkey, and I'm going to want to take all the things, and then I'm not going to have room to carry it. It's the red and blue Kool-Aid bear. That's right, he's been uh, snorting the Kool-Aid. It's... Oh, look at the skybox. That's cool. The clouds go away. You can see, like, the weird wispy light things up there. Oh, I should have brought a, uh, a minor card that I could use here. Because once we clear the Fate Tower, there'll be the, uh, the mod of the, um, oh, crap, what's it called? The thing that lets us do the different thing. At the top of the tower. <laughs> you know what I mean. Sunflowers? Ooh, I can collect them, too. Is this wheat? Yeah, I finally found wheat. Oh, my lord. Okay, hold on. If, can I get more wheat if I use this? No. Dang. We found cool wheat. We're wheaten. Okay, so I gotta find more wheat while I'm here. Oop. Oh, bears. What the heck is that bear fighting? Okay, you're not supposed to ignore your original fight and come after me! Ah! <laughs> Alright, let's just do it the old-fashioned way. is that? It's like the poor thing from hell. What are you even? You're dead, that's what you are. Sorry, this ain't Icarus. Yeah. Well, you fight the bears in basically the same way. Uh, it just calls it a predator, so I don't know what that thing actually is. Oh, I should have used my magnifying glass on it. Oh, and not my, uh, Oh, my magnet. My looking glass. Uh, because that actually would have told me what it was. Hold on. Is this thing a main hand or an off hand? I can't remember. I think it might be a main hand item. Ah, it is. That sucks. Okay, we'll put it down here. So with this thing, you can look and see what stuff is. Like, there's all those Everheart deers over there. A, a cat... Cataplos? Maybe that's what that thing was I just fought. Holt Yoten? I can't even see it, but it shows up. That's interesting. This will also tell us the level of the stuff that we're, uh, we're dealing with. Seems like everything here is pretty much level 40. Alright, let's get this thing clear. So tough. <laughs> Probably because I don't have it on a hard difficulty, but. Hey, Joseph, how you doing?
Okay, first two years open. Tier 1 essence. 23 of them. I got a decent amount, actually. Which is good, because when we find the vendor, we can finally, like, buy some stuff. Assuming he's got some stuff to buy. Uh. Ah! <laughs> Dang it. Alright, hold on. I should probably have my umbrella ready. Nope, nope, nope! Ah, oh, I overflew. Apparently not good at this. This is why I don't play platforming games. I stopped falling. That didn't fall so hard at all. Okay, there'll be a bunch of enemies up here, too. Trying to step on a trap this time. Am I going to avoid it? Ah, I'm getting hailed on. <laughs> Let's go inside while they wait for the hail. I did so well in dying light. <laughs> they, he, he's, they give you a very generous grabbing on. Those guys make me expect a bound centipede level. That'd be weird. I'm still hailing. Zagan? I don't get hailed on. I'm a wuss. I'm gonna melt. Don't they know who I am? Sunflowers. Hunger mitigation 5.8. Gives health regen, stamina regen, heat resistance. Uh, heat resistance might be nice when we go to the desert. I have to do some farming. I haven't done any in the game yet. Find some planter boxes. I think they fixed those now, so we might be able to, like... Plant some stuff. I don't know if I have to like turn those things into seeds or what the deal is. Wow! Oh, violent! Come here, you. <laughs> I love the way they stagger. He's the big boy. Oh, he's the really big boy. That's a oh oh. oh God, he just knocked me off the tower. This is the this is the new big boy. Don't hurt me, sir. That was a mighty fine hammer he's got there. Okay, he's not so tough. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit sad, actually. Oh, I knocked him down. Oh! Oh, now he's faster. Oh, oh god. Why'd I open my big mouth? Right. He's a chump. See what minor cards I have on me. Some more bound eye core. Release health okay. Deep Fey Wilds card. That's fun. Alright. So, I have Weighted Eminent card. Increased damage deal. No. 
Weighted card. <laughs> we definitely don't want the Maleficent card, or Maleficent, or whatever that is. No the Trickster. Hunter card, Harvester's Workshop card, Feast card, Horde card. Ooh, the Dragon Sword card might work. Uh, to grow the content of Encounter Reward Chest and grant a chance to find rare gems within them while lowering your damage resistance. I was hoping I'd get one that could actually float around, though. Increase the yield of refined building materials and crops. No. Quarry card is for mining. Yep. Yeah, don't want that. Increase the damage deal and efficiency of your harvesting while weighing down your body. No, we don't want that. Increase the yield from stuff we slay. The feast card. Prolong the effects of meal. Grow more slowly. Heal more quickly. Ah, we'll go with the horde card. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the sky boss changes to. And with the 1999 Super Jack. Hey, I remember you. Thanks, Dan. This game is super Welcome to the stream. And a week and a half feels like forever. <laughs> Need the Thin Veiled card. Yeah, I had uh, I had a couple... Well, I've used a couple of them already. Um, I neglected to make one before I came here. Uh, but now that we've cleared the Fate Tower, that marks a whole bunch of stuff on our map, so we can see where stuff is now. Tam Tam! Thanks for uh, renewing the membership. Appreciate it. Six months, no less. The Trickster card helps you move your... Yeah, sure it does. <laughs> the Trickster card. <laughs> Trickster card makes it so you can get like meat from trees and stuff. It's weird. So I saw the trader. He's way over on the on the side over here. Pretty much as far away as we can get. Well, from our from the portal anyway, because the portal was way over here somewhere. Oh, it's over here. Okay, so we gotta go. Oh, there it is. Gotta go that way. <laughs> what if I could dry off if I jump on that fire? <laughs> hey, tugboat. Ah, ye offline game, yeah. Whee! <laughs> Almost came in a little hot that time. All your plans are foiled. <laughs> I know what the trickster card is, vaguely. There's a quest thing over there we can do, too. We can help somebody finish their building. Ooh, what kind of uh, materials have we got here? Nothing special. I'd like to find some higher tier materials we can craft more stuff out of. Sneak in for a hard shot. I hit the tree. Good shot. I won. Ah! Wrong button. Last. Old school super chat. Just stop by to check out this new streamer. His name's Cryptic Fox, right? Hitting the ball to Willy Wonka's chocolate. Here. Yeah, that's what it was. It was the Willy Wonka's river. No, for for a bit it was uh, just my internet, but then I was having some really serious burnout. So I spent a lot of time just laying on my couch. <laughs> what a terrible little shack. Yeah, sorry, I was at Willy Wonka's and I forgot to bring chocolate. My bad. How did I not bring 214 chocolate bars back with me? Essence Trader July. Wait, this isn't the law, man. Or are you? No, you're not. Ooh, firearms. I says. 
Clank Aster Pistol. This heavy four-barreled handgun is uh, one of the G.O. Arcane Society's most coveted weapons. Even the realm's most incredible beast struggle to withstand its immense power. Uh, is that Tier 1 Essence? It is. I've got lots. Boom. Pistols, baby. Probably can't craft it yet, but bam, we got one. Might as well buy. Uh, okay, let's see what realm cards I got. Treasury Eminent card. Play this card to increase the chance of finding essence and to make slaying creatures and harvesting produce essence. Oh, that's a handy one. I want that. Explorer Eminent card. Play this card to travel more quickly, extending the benefits of your meals and improving your resistance to most forms of damage while reducing the damage you deal. Oh. Yeah, we'll buy it anyway. Scholar's Sconce. We can get all fancy now. Make it look like we're edumacated. Burnout, you haven't earned that privilege? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? Rustic Toolbox. Give it a proper polish, this rustic toolbox provides a sense of distinguished elegance to any home throughout the realm. A cherished item for building a new life. This item contains requirements you haven't unlocked. Purchase the items in the shop. Or... Oh, really? Probably the grindstone, right? Nope. Maybe not. It's letting me buy it anyway, but... It says I have requirements I haven't unlocked yet. I don't know what I'm missing. That's probably bad. All right, uh, the brazier. Build an ore station to refine ore into more useful forms. Sure, we get that. <laughs> Thanks, tickle me ammo. Ashlands drop soon. I've been doing Hilder's quest in your old room. Oh, nice. Refined saw table. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have so many crafting stations. It's ridiculous. Purchase items in this shop to walk over the car. Oh, yeah. Spinning wheel, masonry bench. So many things! So the, those refined benches will let us make some better quality gear at least. Refined workbench, refined sewing bench. <laughs> my god. Look, I'm on a shopping spree here. Is there anything I didn't buy? Oh, the charms. We might as well get those. Okay. We cleared him out. He's got nothing. Well, I, he's got resources, I guess. Mechanical gears. Carved wood. He can give me his tin shaft. Giggity. Didn't get the kitchen sink. Oh, blast. Tin blades. Metal tips. Sure, those things have uses, but I don't know what for just yet, so... Skeleton Coral. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we did that. Oh, wait, is Boss Reeves the lawman? He looks like a lawman. Don't mind me, none, only here to rest a while. Pardon me, sir, you lost as well. You look like you've been on the road for a while. What is it they say? Idle hands are the devil's tools. Looks like you've been on the road for a while. Long before I even heard word of these forsaken, uh, forsaken realms, who might you be? I'm rather green in the realms, merely seeking passage back to Earth. Still trying to figure that out myself. No one. Seems we have that much in common. <laughs> Alright, I'm green. I'm trying to get back to the Earth. Ah, you sure as hell ain't a fugitive. Not the one I'm looking for. No sense keeping up my guys. Someone told me a lawman was roaming these parts. Well, clearly he's the lawman. Fugitive? What's your business here? Got a writ for a thief of swords, fled Nightingale months back. Oh, he knows how to get the Nightingale? You know you know of Nightingale? Any who doesn't is plain ignorant or lying. As for getting there, Lord knows when or if and uh, we'll cobble the streets again. The way I see it, we can dwell on the tragedy that befell, let it cloud our every step, every choice, every hour, or focus on what's in our purview. So maybe he wants me to help him hunt this, whatever it is. Need help apprehending this fugitive? Help! Hunting those who observe, not God, God's law is a dangerous business. Doubly so in dangerous lands. Hi, Timber. How you doing, buddy? Hold on a second, I'll get your cap cam. Oh, no! 
Uh, Alright, we won't do cat cam because my light's not working again. I think the dogs keep getting snagged on my cords here and like yanking them out of my stuff. Alright, one second. You Oh, don't fall off the desk, buddy. There we go. Yeah, that's what happened. Plug that in and see if it. Oh, God, blind. Alright, he moved, but when he comes back, camera should work after. Nope, nope, still doesn't. Well, good times. <laughs> My dogs keep coming downstairs. They get tangled up in the wires. They pulled my laptop right off my desk. My work laptop. Fortunately, it still works. I keep yanking the plug out of my light. It's good times. Uh, for the looks of it, you're being put through perdition already. I've walked in your shoes down this path we call a drift. Here's back the Cherokee took me in. Learned me many lessons till I became a freedman. Sending you off to roam the realms and be sending you off to an early grave. All things being true, I feel obliged to impart lessons in survival that were once paid to me. What do you say? Chris Topher with a 21-month member message. Parasols are so 19th century. <laughs> hey, you're just jealous at how fancy my parasol is. You want one for yourself. I can see it in your typed words. Uh, I would welcome whatever you might impart. How do you suggest I prepare? Or I've already been surviving in the realms without your help. How do you suggest I prepare? Preparation is survival. These wilds live, breathe, tell you how they feel. When you hear thunder, howls, or squalls, that's the realm giving itself away. The order beneath the frenzy. Think hard now. There are plenty of dangers in these parts. What might you need? More guns! Ability to look death in the eyes without blinking? Something to fight with. I'll take my chances, I am. It's of little concern. What about something to fight with? Without a weapon, there's no lot of defense, even for lily-livered pacifists. Armament. Ammunition. After that, see to it. You know how to use them without taking an eye out. I believe I'm properly prepared. Argue now. Give us a look. So what do I gotta do here? I, gotta, I, I, I got the gun recipe, but I haven't actually crafted one yet. In my life before all this, I never so much as laid eyes on weaponry. Preparation has its merits, I concede. I'd wager this will place a grin beneath that mustache. So we got three different choices, that's interesting. I wonder if there's actually a difference when you pick the different answers. I'll be the judge. Alright. So you put some care into this weapon. Now you got the means to protect yourself, but are your eyes in tune with your trigger finger? I'm a bit of a fledgling in such arts. Isn't this weapon proof enough of my capability? I could shoot an old dog like you. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't go with that one. You'd do wise to curb that tongue. Now, shooting ain't my preferred move. A necessary skill, nonetheless. I just want to pull the law without shooting. How do you become such a master? All right, let's pick the one that keeps progressing the quest. Suppose you got more preparation duties for me? Back in the war, ammunition was limited. But conservation affords a forethought, and a well-placed shot is a resourceful one. Most all living creatures got a frailty, an unprotected vital organ, as if swift death were planned in the design of all beings. Now get, learn your marks. And remember, the pious waste for nothing. I'll return when the task is complete. Okay, so I gotta get some heart shots, I think. Or weak, weak point shots or whatever. Increased damage. Also be able to score heart shots on certain creatures to deal exceptional damage. We already did that. Uh, so I gotta get two heart shots and three head shots. That shouldn't be too bad. Alright, lawman. I'll be back. Maybe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on down here? Slight increase of damage taken. Oh, because of the realm card I played. Right, right, right. Stella! Just wanted to say hi and give a like to the stream before I fell asleep. See you soon. Alright, thanks, Stella. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. If I can get around to the side here. We can go for the heart shot. That was not the heart shot. <laughs> Charge right at me. He's coming right for us. Oh, can't believe that hit him. Oh, I missed. There's my three headshots. Oh, 
What does the umbrella do? Well, it protects you from the elements, uh, but it's also a flying device, basically. Or gliding, anyway. Not, not so much flying, because you can't use it to fly upwards, but uh, you can use it for gliding. So with this dagger, I've got like a jump ability that lets me like launch myself forward. So I can like launch myself off of cliffs and then use the umbrella to float. So I can fly down places. It's very handy. Never been able to get a heart shot on a bear, only headshots. Not sure if the heart shot is available for the bear. I wonder if maybe the bear has to be like standing on its hind legs or something to get the heart shot. I don't know. I didn't hit my heart shot on the bear. Oh, speaking of bears. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Bear! Oh, there's a chest here. Malice infusion. Melee damage, nice. Uh, what's my weight at right now? 85 of 149, not too bad. This is cool. I thought there was going to be like a quest to finish building something over here, but it looks like it's just like an abandoned encampment. Oh, they've got an outhouse! I want an outhouse. <laughs> Stop listening to the rest after you said, launch myself off a cliff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course you did. Embroidery frame? Wait a minute. Dress form? Cobbler's bench? I can't interact with these things, though. For half a second, I thought it said wishing machine. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> then I realized I are dumb and I can't read. Inf interior junk. Okay. Can I, like, harvest this stuff? Ooh, it takes damage. What will this give me, if anything? Carved hardwood and some cloth. Oh, what the? Slight veiled potion. Clear as crystal, the bottle seems empty at first until the swirling shimmer catches the light. Its taste, however, is dark and rich, gifting the imbiber with soft hidden steps. Ooh, it can be all sneaky like. So I got this cloth, which I think is the first time I've gotten cloth. That's fun. Uh, what was the other thing? I got some sort of wood, some sort of carved wood. That's it here. Okay. Might be worth smacking all this stuff to get all the junk out of it. Yeah, hopefully the stuff that owns this, or the guy who owns this stuff doesn't come back. <laughs> it's probably finding the bear over there. It'd be funny if they were, like, sleeping upstairs here. Downstairs smashing all their junk. This one I can interact with, the refined spinning wheel. Thread twine, wicks, fabric. Make all these fancy charms. I haven't used any charms yet. I think that's for clothing, but... I have no charm, what can I say? Oh, Jess, I missed the, uh, the super chat. Me! Well, no longer the knights who say any. And all the knights who say, icky, 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 patang, So many giggities, yeah. There's an echo over there, too. Alright, there. Ah, dang it! Okay. I gotta... Sure. Look at that. Ah, crap. Oh, man, he's wailing on me. Ah, crud. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get heart shots in this guy, I don't think. How do I do my special move? Max some heals. <laughs> what am I doing to your home? What the size of that chain? 
That's off the chain. Expedition of the Realms, Quartermain's Diary. Eilish was tasked with preparations for a foray into the perilous deserts. Sufficient victuals, gear to weather the harsh sun, and of course, bed rolls, and various other pieces of flavor text. Oh, wait. That one's broken. I can't open the chest because it's broken. Did I damage it? Or was it already damaged? How do we fix it? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> charm of Bounty, Charm of the Spell Sword, and more quartz. Nightfall's approaching. Oh, I see what I was. It was just showing me that the boxes are breakable. Let's me just some basic wood, though. It's not terribly useful. Hope whatever was on that chain comes back. I don't. See the size of that chain? Looks like it should be like attached to a boat or something. Fancy candles here and everything. All right, let's go find some more critters to slay. Wait a minute. I like flew upwards there. Huh. You can carry that, Henry. I'm not carrying sandstone. It's too heavy. Cotton candy bear. <laughs> That, that 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 bear is not as delicious as you might assume, just judging by the color pattern. We're having a wonderful night. Thanks, Doctor Deathwish. Not a bad day today. Maybe you can't get a hard shot on these guys. Ow! Oh, jerk. Shot that time. <laughs> Icy bear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one's the flavor of slushies. <laughs> There's one spicy meatball. Where are we here? Eh, we got our defense thing up ahead. Maybe do that. Can't hurt to get more essence, I guess. I know the essence will be useful for some further crafting and such. Don't like that it's getting to be nightfall, though. There's some deer. If we can get close enough, we can get a heart shot. Ah, crap. <laughs> I missed that on purpose. Uh, how to play Defend Fellow Survivors. But where are these fellow survivors of which I'm supposed to be defending? What is this business? 2.30. Yeah, we won't be mining that. 
Yeah, more of this wheat. Offering altar. What should we throw in here as an offering? I know what? We'll give it some meat. Here, have some prey meat. Ooh, wood bundle, Jotunheart. Max health 15%, regeneration, magic power, stealth rating 40%. That's cool. Not sure how we're gonna use that yet, but we found some Jotun wood. Kinda wish I'd given it something bigger now. I don't know if I don't know if like the size of what you give it or the like the number of things you give makes a difference in terms of what the reward is. I was waiting for the perfect shot, and then I got, let it get too close. Last the Dana Mules. One of the lucky few got to play and test this through development. Let's see how it looks now. Yeah, me too. It was good times. It's funny to see how it evolved a little bit. Alright, Sylvia. Hope Echo's locked within a phase structure nearby. Survivors need your aid in defending an extraction device that will unlock the Hope Echo. Check the extraction device until all waves are defeated for a reward. Alright, we can do that. Oh, except my guy's getting tired. Oh, cool! You freaking lasers! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that dude. Oh, bad shot. Bad form, sir. Bad form. Sure nobody's in here. Get him, Carnute. Okay. Next wave will be coming. That thing fired up again. I don't know where they come from now. Yeah, you thought so. Oh, what the? Oh, oh, it's a fire shooting dude. Would like to not stand in the open with that guy. Watch out, Henry, you didn't get dressed that on fire. He's just walking away. Oh, he's not dead. Now he is. Across the streams. Man, Henry does good work. He's not shy about attacking things at all. 
What's going on? So this is a uh, an event in the world. These uh, these other survivors are here using this energy extraction device to try to pull energy out of whatever this thing is. Uh, we have a job to defend it until it's finished, and then we get the reward. Oh, oh, oh man, is getting lit on fire. Jeez. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, never mind. I don't like how I burn. Oh, that hurt. Plus, I'd have dried my clothes out. I'm shooting the wrong target. Yeah, I think I was shooting Amanda in the back, actually. Oh, we did it. All that for 41 essence. And a uh, new discovery, hide tent. And we get this thing here, too. Gives me the Shire sconce. There. <laughs> Another defense went out there. That's funny. All right. Uh, 124 or 149. I think I should focus on getting that quest done for the kills. Yeah. Maybe a bit far of a jump. Let's see if we can find some more animals to shootify. Oh, my internet is crap in the bed. One. Need one more. Yeah, I, I can see my bit rate's getting through a bit, but it's not. Uh... Oh wow! Look at that skybox. It's nuts. I'm still getting some feed through, but it's not. Uh, it's just not getting enough. Hopefully it won't last long. Sometimes they, it dips out for like a minute and comes back, so we'll see what happens. I guess. That looks so cool. Oh, my dude's tired. Uh, can I eat that will give me energy? Nothing. I need something that will actually wake me up. Can I not brew coffee in this game? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna need to... I'm gonna need to, like... Bunk down for the night or something. Maybe I can just build a bed in here. I'm assuming they don't have one I can sleep in. I don't recall seeing one in here. dark in here, man. Okay. Uh, this is under a roof. Building. Uh, resting bedroll. Plant fiber and sticks. So I've got to get some sticks. Sticks will be easy enough to get. There we go. Little, long little rest. <laughs> that thing. Yeah, that thing. Conventional unlocks. He also tea and crumpets. I have the tea set. 
uh, augmentation back home. I don't know if I can make tea yet or not, though. Let's see the sunrise. What a pretty sunrise. What's the game premise? Uh, the general premise is that um, sometime back in like the... What was it? Like 19th century or whatever? 18th century? 15th century? <laughs> the Fae came to our world and they taught us some things about magic. And in the human's ever-growing pursuit of more power with this magic... They made a mistake, uh, and they triggered this weird entity called the Pale to go flowing into the Earth, covering everything and, and putting people in like anyone who like who gets in the fog of the fade. Uh, the fade gets uh, they get put in like suspended animation. So we escape through a portal into the Fey realms in order to uh, to escape from the escape from doom. We're trying to get to the last city of human civilization, Nightingale, which is somewhere in the Fey Realms, but we don't know exactly where because the portal network that would take us there is, has been lost. So we're trying to survive and make our way through different portals to different Fey Realms to, uh, to try to find our way back to Nightingale. That's the, the general premise. And then it's all a uh, survival game in between. Oh my god, you're hearing every third word. That's great. <laughs> ah, I hate my internet. Got about an hour out of it before it crapped the bed. Tea and Crumpets uses coffee. That's weird. <laughs> Perfect time for Nate to raid when I have no internet. Consistency. <laughs> I don't know if people will be able to hear me or not, but welcome to the people raiding from Nate Stream. Horrible timing since my internet's crapped the bed and uh, we're getting a lot of lag right now. Can't wait for trying. The humans, magic, fate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds about right. Yeah, so, sorry, but my, uh, I can see that I'm getting poor upload speeds right now. So I'm not getting the throughput I normally would on my stream, and that's causing the lag been kind of a hot mess for a while and they haven't been able to fix it for me yet. Blasted interwebs. Oberon and Elizabeth. Act 1, Scene 2. Always leave them wanting more, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's not really, it's a still thing more so than again. Sometimes it's fine and it, everything works great, and then other times I get this, which is just freaking stupid, and they haven't been able to fix it. <laughs> 